Peanut here, and today we are going to be playing some Titanfall on the Xbox 360. Now, this game has been out for a while, and as you can see, I've been playing it a crap ton. Like, if I can find it here. I've been playing for every two days of playtime. I have had a ton, like, a absolute ton of fun of fun in this game. Because COD just kind of got stale for me. I still do like Extinction and Ghosts. But as far as a multiplayer component, it's kind of gotten stale. But when Titanfall came out in the 360, I was really, really looking forward to this game. Because it just looked really fun. And then I got it. And it turned out to be fun. Hold on, let me just... Not there. I'm going to turn out the volume a little bit. So I can actually hear myself. But this game, in case you haven't heard of it, which if you haven't, you've kind of been living under a rock. It's a um, futuristic warfare game made by the a couple of people who originally created the first two games in the Modern Warfare series. And a bunch of people were looking forward to this. They're like, oh, it's going to be the COD killer, etc. Stuff like that, you know. But... It turned out, like, the main problem people have with this game, first of all, I have to cover that this game is k kind of dead now on YouTube, really. People haven't really been posting videos, and a lot of people saying, oh, oh my gosh, this game's dead. But I don't think it is. There's still a ton of people playing it. The main problem, I think, people aren't posting videos is for two reasons. Number one, they, most of them were just COD channels and they had to go back to COD otherwise they'd lose a bunch of their subscriber base and their view base and stuff and some of it is just people saying the game lacks content which it definitely does like compared to um COD there's really not that much stuff like it's only 10 weapons 10 primary weapons uh six titan weapons three different types of titans there's really not that much co customization to be spe to speak of compared to a game like COD, but that's the other problem people have with this game. I personally haven't really had a problem with that. I've had a absolute blast with this game. I've been playing it almost constantly. It's just a really fun game for me. Now, as you might know, this is an e this game is Xbox exclusive and it came out on the was originally supposed to come out well it came out on the Xbox One, and the PC, and the 360 a bit later, and the 360 version is a port. So, they actually did do a pretty darn good job porting this to the system. Obviously the textures and stuff don't look as good, but that's just a minor complaint. But one of the main things they did was obviously the frame rate, and this 30 hertz option here changes that. If you set it on to no, the frame rate can get higher than 30 FPS. Basically, this the turning the 30 hertz on locks the FPS to 30. But turning this off really increases the screen tear. And honestly, when I was playing it, it just made me motion sick. So I keep it on. Plus, I plus I record in 30 frames anyway. So let's just jump to a match. Let's do I guess attrition because this is the main mode in Titanfall so far. And we're just gonna be trying to play just playing a game of Titanfall, I guess. Well, hopefully we'll be able to play a couple of games. Thankfully, we joined into a lobby that hasn't started yet, which is always a good sign. As you can see, like, the other team doesn't really have that great of a team, to be honest. It's mostly just that one gen, Generation 8 guy, and the generations are basically like prestiges in this game, like in COD, so... Right now I'm in generation 6, and there's a guy on the other team that's generation 8, so let's see what we can do. So we're going to use this gun, Spitfire LMG, Three, two, one. and this is one of the main um, uh, guns I have to use for my prestige challenges, which you have to do in order to regenerate to each generation. All right, boss, so as we get here, we're going to get on the zip line up here. So we can get a easier view of the other side, which is where the other team spawns, is somewhere over here. So we're just gonna sit back, play some Titanfall. 
decent stuff. As you can see here, there is a parkour system in this game. I'm just gonna see here that guy. That guy snuck up behind me. I want to turn down the volume a little bit. That guy snuck up behind me. Wasn't really expecting him. Sneak up behind this guy. This weapon is much better at long ranges than it is at close range. That guy got me with a smart pistol. So, I'm going to equip a burn card, and burn cards are kind of like the perks in, in Call of Duty for this game. But the difference is that only burn cards are only active for one life compared to COD, but they do have some pretty sick abilities, like being able to turn, be able to use the cloak ability for an infinite amount of time, being able to carry extra grenades, or a better version of a weapon that you might have. And what I'm using here is cloaking. This makes me invisible to pretty much anything. There's a guy up here. That guy almost got me. See, I got my Titan. I'm going to deploy it down here. I'm actually the first person in the game to call, call on a Titan, which is what that first to fall thing means. So let's see here. May not seem that exciting now, but trust me, it's going to get really chaotic once everybody else starts calling in their Titans. So another complaint people have been having and this game is the AI, and they say, like, ooh, this game shouldn't have AI, they just made it new friendly and stuff like that. That's not true. Well, I guess it's kind I guess it's kind of true, especially in a game of like, attrition, which gives you the points for it. But that's mainly to give, like, like they said, I guess it does sort of cater to noobs for a little bit, but there's only, um, six people on each team, as you can see here. And, uh, not having any sort of thing to fill up the rest of the battlefield. Because these are pretty big maps, because they have to be for the titans and stuff, so... They kind of have to have grunts in order to be able to do anything. I'm going to take this guy out. That burn card I activated at the beginning of my life periodically shows me where um, the enemies are. Just what that little, like, radar pulse is. There's a... Uh, person somewhere over here. Ooh, I didn't notice that. There was a guy rodeoing on that guy's back and I didn't even know it. So I d Well, I saw that I saw that guy on the map and I figured there might he there might be somebody there. So I checked with my punch and turns out there was somebody there. Let's take out this guy. This is kinda cool. It's like a little execution to kind of rub your victory in the other guy's face. It's kind of cool. So, I'm not gonna let that I'm gonna let that guy go for now. See what I can do for this guy. And I'm using the Strider Titan, which compared to the default Titan, the Atlas, does not have nearly as much health, but it has a lot more dashes. Normally you have two dashes, which is what I'm pressing. The little bars on the screen just let you go faster. These guys. AI grunts over here. And, the, and these core abilities, which are in the bottom right for the Titan, let you do stuff like for the Strider, it's for the dash, the, it has an ability called the dash core, which allows you to have unlimited dashes for a short period of time, which is pretty nice. Now, I've really found this game fun. Like, I, I can see why a lot of people don't like it, but personally, I've found it pretty fun. And I guess it sort of helps that I'm pretty good at this game, too, if I do say so myself. Let's see if we can flank around this guy. So, I think, I don't think I'll be able to take on this guy, so I'm going to use my, um, dash core, which will let me get away from this guy for a while. 
coming for me. At least I have a little while to get settled and everything. I'm gonna see if I can go around this guy here. Uh, this guy might, this guy might just get me here. Let's see if I can do anything. Um, yeah, he's gonna get me. So I can eject out of my Titan. That state I was in with the warning bar on it was called dooming a titan, which is kind of basically like killing it, and it gives the pilot inside an opportunity to eject from the titan so he doesn't die, which is pretty nice. So, let's see here. I'm going to try to get on the back of this titan over here, and that's called rodeoing. Well, I don't know where he is anymore. It's called rodeoing, and allows you to do lots, tons of damage to titans. I mean, it does an absolute ridiculous amount, especially with this gun, the Spitfire LMG, because it has such a massive magazine, and I have attachment, an attachment on it, that one called Slammer, and that makes it even better at rodeoing. So, let's see, we can get on his back, and watch how fast this takes him down. Uh, he has electric smoke, though, which is what he just deployed, so... Uh, that's an ability specifically made to deter pi to deter pilots from rodeoing you, and it deploys a smoke screen. But after a while, the smoke screen becomes electrified, and what that does is so I can get back on him because his ability is recharging. So oh, it didn't. So ah, uh, I got almost got caught in the smoke there and died, but I didn't. And that Titan I just doomed used nuclear ejection, which is kind of like Dead Man's Hand in a way from Modern Warfare 3, except somehow balanced, because it, it does really um, tell you that the Titan's about to eject, and it warns you plenty beforehand. So, let's see here, and see if I can find anybody else. Excuse me, I had to clear my throat a little bit there. So there's a guy over here. I'm going to get behind him so he doesn't see me. I'm going to get him with the triple threat. He's going to lock onto me. This other pilot got me with his um, anti-Titan weapon. Which are ability specifically. What just happened? I had no idea what just happened. Oh, okay, so the guy was coming in for a punch, but the guy with the archer turned out to have killed me, or not killed me, but hit me with the archer as soon as he did that. So he was, that, that ended up dooming me and gave him the execution. So that kind of stinks, but hey. All in the name. I'm not going to be able to rodeo any of these guys because they're literally one behind each other. And if I try to rodeo, well, maybe let's see if I can get this guy back here. Oh, that guy hit me. Can I get? I'm getting this guy. Let's see if I can kill him. So we lost. But what happens is that. Let's see, can I get? No, I can't. I was seeing if I could rodeo the guy before he got out and killed me, which is what just happened there. I can get in here, so if you win or lose, the losing team, like, see, we lost this game. But there's a dropship here that arrives, and that that's basically to help us get out of here. So, I want to see if I can... What I can do, I'm going to eject early here so I can get a view of it, and then as soon as the dropship arrives, I'll be able to get inside, like here. See if we can get out before they break the chopper, the evac crap, craft, the um, thing itself is called get to the chopper, which I think is kind of cool. It's a nice little reference to Predator. See, finished that game, got second second place on my team, but we ended up losing, partially because um, this guy right here, Chef PJ, is pretty good. So, 
see here if we can get a better game next time. I'm gonna actually get out of this attrition lobby, and attrition's basically like the team deathmatch of this mode, and I'm gonna try a... You know what, never mind, I was thinking of trying a... Well, never mind, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna quit this lobby and see if I can find a new game mode. And after every game, it shows you like the different XP you earn in, in different ways, shows you how much the total is, and this Gen 6 XP bonus is actually... Every time you regenerate or prestige in this game, you get a little XP bonus, so right now I'm earning 1.8 times multiplier. I'm getting that multiplier to all the XP that I earn here, which really helps when leveling up. And these are the challenges that I've completed and or are about to complete. Earn some new burn cards. I'm actually going to equip that one because that's pretty good. See if we can find another game mode here. And I'm also going to kind of show you the various stuff in this game so another reason people say like this game isn't very popular on youtube is that they say it isn't really that fun to watch which i don't know it's kind of split on that Let's see if we can get this here so like i'm kind of split on that it can be fun to watch it sometimes but other times if you're just like farming for grunts and stuff it can be pretty boring so these are different burn cards you can have. It's stuff like Call on a Titan immediately, or the one I have here is I get 40 seconds off the time it takes to build my Titan. I have another one called Double Agent, which lets me, which lets like all the AI stuff ignore me, like I, I don't, even, I am part of both sides. And then the Ant LMG is one of, there's a variety of stuff like Ant Mag Launcher, which is, this anti-titan weapon which helps take down titans it's an ant version of that and basically the ant weapons usually they do more damage but sometimes they also have a special ability too like say here the ant lmg is the spitfire lmg that i'm using but it has a much much faster fire rate than the spitfire does which does really help considering the spitfire has one of the slowest fire rates out of any of the the slowest, I think it's actually the slowest firing automatic weapon in the game, fully automatic weapon, so, and this is my various different Titan loadouts. I really like the Strider Titan, because he moves very fast, and I like moving fast in this game. So also, I like parkouring and stuff. Various different challenges and stuff, and these regional requirements are actually the challenges you have to complete in order to get to the next generation. So, like, right here, I have to kill Titans by rodeoing them get kills with the triple threat grenade launcher which I was using here with my titan kills with the spitfire LMG which is what I was using and killing titans with the mag launcher which I haven't really been concentrating on that much so what we're actually going to do let's see uh, one that one complaint I have for this is the complete lack of game modes there's really there's only five game modes well, technically there's really only four and it says there's six but there really isn't one of them is just a map playlist of all of the stuff. So attrition, which is like team deathmatch, basically. Last Titan standing. Like you say, you get one life and you start out in a Titan and the goal is to eliminate all the enemy Titans. Hard points like domination and call of duty. Capture the flag, pretty simple. And pilot hunter is basically attrition, except you only get points for killing pilots and variety pack is pretty much everything. So I think let's see, I think that I think I'll actually do a hardpoint game and try out a different gun because SMGs seem to fit this more. So, so see, we joined in, we joined in early or late in the middle of a game. So let's see what we can do here. So spam this so I get in the game as fast as possible. Oh, we're losing really badly. That's not good. I think I'm gonna use this gun. Next, the car SMG, which is basically like a hybrid of a, it's it, it's an SMG, but it has more assault rifle traits than the other SMG in this game, which is called the R97 Compact SMG, which shoots a lot faster than this one does. Be able to take this Titan out pretty easily, partially because it was an auto Titan for the most part ended up pushing a pilot there by accident not by accident but I didn't wasn't expecting them see if I can clear out this hard point of 
in the hard point. Let's see. That did not gonna work. Wait, this gun really does have a slow end on sight time. There's a person here. About to come here. That didn't work either. There's a person somewhere. I think that was an enemy titan over there. See, my titan's already destroyed. Let's see if I can get to hard point. Um, try to get this one over, this hard point over here. Uh, we have a squeaker. Shut up. Shoot, that, that was, there's a titan over here. That's not good. Um, let's cloak and see if we can. Get him, radio him. There we go. Alpha is under attack. Oh, and now you get out. Okay, that's smart. It's cloaks. I saw a Titan over there. Um, calling my Titan and actually get in this um hard point here and see if we can turn this game around. Although. Judging by the score, I don't think we'll be able to, but we can at least try. Somebody's shooting at me. There's a pilot over there. Let's see if we can get you. Ooh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna lose this. That's, that's how I got damaged so much. Is this a, um, good, that's a, at least get that, that guy. Knew there's gonna be somebody trying to radio me here. That guy, a pilot, trying to radio me there. See if I can get this pilot that he, here that killed me. Under or not. Um, let's go over here and try to get A. Shoot, there's an enemy Titan over here. Um, and we lost again. Let's see if we can actually get in a game or we don't lose. See if I can do anything about that. I'm gonna see if I can... Oh shoot, there's a person over here. Got him somehow. That... shoot. Um. Shoot, where's the dropship? Uh, I'm gonna be done if I don't get out of here right now. Um, let's jump here. There's a pilot over here. Get in. Actually, getting pretty lucky being able to get in here. Let's see. Get in the chop. Get in the. I keep calling it the chopper because of the thing that pops up, but the evac ship thing. Well, that's not very sad. That's not very um, promising, considering that I joined the game in like a minute before it finished or something, and I got second. I mean, it's kind of concerning, especially with this team of mostly generate regenerated people. So, let's see. I'm gonna exit this lobby and see if I can find a lob, find a lobby where the odds aren't as tipped against our favor. <coughs> Excuse me, my um throat's been hogged up lately. See, I got that brain surgeon three challenge. That's one of the challenges I have to do for my um prestige things, whatever things. Let's leave that lobby. 
and let's see the new burn cards we got. Conscription, that's not very good. Titan Salvage, not very good. Keep that. There's also a campaign too. It says it's really more of a multiplayer campaign, and this is another this is another complaint I have about this game is that the campaign is literally just multiplayer with background noise. Like I I do I really do not get any part of the story, and the only reason I would play it is that the only really reason to play it is there's an achievement for winning 50 campaign level, or playing 50 campaign levels, and also you unlock the Strider and Ogre Titans normally, you just get the Atlas. Other than that, after you unlock those two things, there's really absolutely no reason at all to play campaign, except that there's normally new, this is normally where the new, the most noobish population of Titanfall lives and plays, so it's good if you need, like, to rank up stuff for generation challenges, so... I think we'll, we'll jump back into attrition again, see if we can join a game not in progress, it seems that that's not happening. So, see if we can do something about that. Spitfire again. Oh god, this is not a good place to put my titan. Let's get in here. Need this person. Get out of there. This guy's done. Crush these guys. This person. This slow moving ogre over here. Oh, I'm getting pummeled by the pilots. Where did that ogre go? There they went. I have to go. Ah, oh, I hit the wall. I hit it when that happens. There's people in here. I'm gonna see if I can take care of them. Whoa. Radio this guy. Whoa. And smart pistol. My favorite weapon ever. It's basically a lock on pistol. It's mostly balanced, but there's times like that where it's just infuriating. Oh well. Whoa, was not expecting you. Get out of my face. I, I do not want to see you again. Go away. Ooh, shoot. Out of one so This guy's gonna be fighting to the end. He's gonna try to radio me, so get off. Lost again. Not kind of in a losing streak right today. Or right now. Not to not really today. Shoot. Somebody's gonna execute me. Just chill back. 
back here. Get in there. Saw some grenades. Guy here. Or not, that's a friendly. Still concerning that I got third, even though this looks like a whole squad right here, but it's kind of concerning that I got third, even though yet again I joined late. Let's see if we can try to carry this team, and if I can't, this video's already gone on for 30 minutes, so I might as well end it here. I'm going to try one more match, and if that doesn't work, I think I'll end off this video. I'd actually have to cut this one into two parts due to how long it is. But, oh well. I think I'll actually just keep it how it is. Not earn much XP, as figured. Stuff. Do that. I actually want to show you guys this Amps LMG. It's ridiculous. Let's see. For the challenges and stuff, have to get about, let me think, 35 more radio kills, which is a lot. Not that much for the triple threat, that's actually not that much of a problem, because that weapon is actually pretty pretty darn beastly. Spitfire's not a problem either, I just have to use it a bunch. Mag launcher is going to be a problem, though, that's not very good at taking down stuff. Sorry for that random thing, I accidentally hit my computer with the controller. That messed up the microphone options. Various different, your standard kind of controller settings. Look drift guard, which kind of helps prevent the view thing from drifting from sticks. Don't invert my view, I don't like that. Um, I usually have this on a little bit because the music's pretty good, but I'll actually turn it up a little. Automatic sprint's pretty useful, I use that on delayed which helped, so uh, I don't really have to push the stick down as much. Strangely, it's not letting me select my HUD margin for some reason. I don't know why. Let's see if we can do one more game, and if that doesn't work, then I guess we'll try. I guess we'll just end off the video. So, the maps in this game, too, are actually really, really good. Like, they're very balanced. They really help with the they're really balanced with the pilots and the titan parts, like, I have a couple of favorite ones, we haven't really seen any of them, but there are quite, all the maps in here, there isn't really like a bad map, per se. See here, I use that burn card decisive action, which helps me reduce the time it takes for me to get my, um, titan. I'm actually not going to jump straight in there, which is what I normally do, because I usually have closer range weapons. I'm actually going to go over here. There's a zip line over here that I can use to get over here. And well, that was a fail part. Let's see if I can get up here. Um, Something. There's another zip line here. So I'll get more of a perch. Ooh. Ooh, shoot, somebody's shooting me with a sniper. Jump in. Whoa! Can I turn on this guy? Yes, I somehow can. Whoa, grenade somewhere. Kick that guy. I was just, that guy used a burn card to disguise himself as a specter. Poked pilot here. There's a guy behind me, but I probably couldn't have gotten him anyway. It's terrible aim to spawn as a pilot. Have that amped LMG for later. Still losing. Just not finding very good games today.
I'm gonna lose to this guy. Jeez. We are getting absolutely owned. Kick you. You can see this sheet's a lot faster than the other one did. Than the other one does. It's absolutely ridiculous, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything about the game situation here. Still fun, even though we're losing. And that's really a thing that I think really only Titanfall can say. Is this an enemy? No, it's not. Um... See, can I rodeo anybody? Maybe. Let's see if I can get this guy. What? What just happened? I somehow got that guy. Killing somebody with my damn shield. Shoot, I don't have a cloak. This guy doesn't know I'm here, so I'm gonna take him out. Radio you. Um. Get you, even though. Get in, let's get in my Titan. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that didn't do anything. Ah, oh, satchel charge. Fantastic. And that backfired. Let's actually get this other amped LMG. Use a zip line to get over here and radio this guy. He got me with the quad rocket. Yeah, this isn't happening, unfortunately. Stinks. How did that even happen? I don't even know. That's the other thing about this game, that R101C Carbine, the weapon that that guy was using, is kind of OP, because it's really like the most versatile weapon in the entire game, so there's really no reason not to use it, because it's, it's good at everything. And this happens too, and it's really annoying. The game just randomly, just like, I don't know, crashes or whatever, and boots me back to the start menu. That stinks. Oh well, cuts, cuts a bad game short. Cuts that bad game short. We were going to lose anyway, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment. Let's see what I unlocked. Yes, finally got that attachment for that. That's nice. But like I was saying, if you 
like the video, be sure to leave a like and comment if you want to tell me anything, or give me any tips for recording videos, and subscribe for future content like this and other random games. So, that's really all I have to say for right now, so until next time, Marine Peanut out.